Oh. Oh, well, good morning. It's the Wake and Bake. And, um, you know, today is the deadline that, uh, you have to post a picture. Because apparently, a picture is what the millennials think a legal document. And it's got it's got all the way to the boomers fucking convinced that if you post a picture that says you can't do this, then it works. It's happened on MySpace. It's ha- it's like a weird viral joke that happens on every platform. Hey, get over here. That's a fucking tow truck, you jackass. Anyways. But, uh, it's like this fucking sick joke that they gotta play on everybody. Or that it's like... It's it's like a growing pain to a... uh, to a platform growth. It's like, um... Well, it's, okay, let me give you a a prime example. Whenever you first get a video camera, okay? Now, I'm 27, so my first camera uh, was uh, borrowing my dad's insurance claim camera. My dad would, he worked for OSHA. And so he would go and take video of places where people got fucked up at work. And, um, you know, to justify that it was their fault. Basically, he was kind of like the, um, from Memento, claims adjuster, you know. No, insurance isn't going to cover you because you faked your incident. Or insurance isn't going to cover you because you're on drugs. Or insurance isn't going to cover you because you're negligent. My whole life I couldn't have an address on the house. But anyways, what I was getting at is that whenever you first use a camera, a video camera, and you're... uh, in your adolescence, you know, you got that one friend that wants to film his feet, or you got that one friend that has to, like, look at the camera and, and, and stare at the camera. I mean, bro, there's even footage of Will Smith doing this shit back whenever he was younger, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a cliche thing. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of like other things. Like getting drunk for the first time. The first time you get drunk, you might cry. Or in the first few times you drink, it might make you cry. You might end up in a fucking closet in fucking Germantown, Tennessee in somebody's pantry fucking crying because nobody understands you. Hypothetically. That didn't happen to me, but that was one of those aha moments for me because I connected like I was hanging out with my friend Odie in, in in Germantown, Tennessee. I went to go visit him. And, you know, by the end of the week, he was kind of sick of me. Which is, you know, what would have happened if we lived in the same town. We didn't hang out that much. I mean, we hung out every day, almost. But we didn't hang out so much that we irritated each other. Hey! 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 Get the fuck out of the traffic, you retard. 
So anyways, sorry, I got my shit foot without a, a leash today. I'm trying that out. Because I feel like he slows me down when I have him on the leash. Because I have to like pull him away from things and we have to pace together. This way I just carry the leash and his shit bag dispenser. I just carry this and I just have to yell at him. And he comes back. But anyway, what's another... Uh, well, I mean, dude. Let's go back to this fucking... This disclaimer bullshit. Um, I, I, I posted a, a thing that I found that uh, Everlast from House of Pain had posted. Whitey Ford, OG Everlast on Instagram... I cropped it and made it a little bit prettier. Put my face and Paco Bedank on it. Rest in peace, Nick Garcia. But, uh... Yeah, so... Like, it, it's it's one of those weird... Like, I, it's weird because I have people older than boomers. Well, maybe they're boomers. Now that I think about it. No, they're not older than boomers. They're like... Whatever that generation is between my parents and me. They're like... They're like in their 50s now. Because the boomers are in their 60s. Stanley! Thank you, bro. People like my dog. Anyway, so... I was saying thank you, bro, to a human, by the way. It was a black man in, in a white painter's outfit, which is now the second black man I've seen in a painter's outfit. I saw one in San Francisco yesterday. Very curious what that fashion statement is about. But it kind of makes me want to go buy a painter outfit. It's a very high-contrast outfit. Because it's like a white laminate. This guy was wearing the whole jumpsuit. And he had the hoodie up. And then he had like work boots on. But he didn't have any paint on him. And his shit was kind of shredded. And the only thing I was thinking was... If he's homeless... That's probably like the cleanest outfit he's got. It'll probably stay clean forever too. Because it's like plastic. So it's not going to... Like I seen a, a, a fucking bunch of homeless uh, dudes in San Jose, and and it, and it like I realized like they're not all totally insane. They're just they're just fucking broken, you know. They're broken down from life, and so they're. Uh, I mean, you just can't care about dust and dirt at that point. You know, whenever you're trying to fucking just survive day to day. It's weird how I know that. I guess it's because I've been homeless a few times. I've lived in a car. I've lived in a tr- I lived in a fucking single cab truck once. I've lived on a couch. I've been to the top of the mountain and I've seen the fucking, seen the hell. Stanley, come here. That's crazy. I gotta look like uh, one of the... um, Poor unfortunate souls from the Dark Crystal. Remember them? Who wants to get the soul sucked out of them from the crystal? Obviously, poor unfortunate soul is a Little Mermaid reference. And that's not what I'm talking about. Poor unfortunate souls turn into like kelp or something. Anyways. This one longing to be thinner. This one wants to get the girl. Do I help them? Yes, I do. 
So, I guess, you know, it's weird because it's one of those, everybody that posts it, it, it was funny because I didn't even realize that it was a thing. I mean, I had seen it once in my feed, and I didn't think anything of it. I just thought, ah, this is a cool ramblings of one of my artist friends, and I liked it and moved on. I didn't even read it. But then, hours later, I see somebody post something that says, when you see somebody you really respect posting the disclaimer, and it has a kid, like, like crying, you know, anyways, then I started paying attention, when I was like, oh, we've got the cliche thing happening again, everybody's, everybody all of a sudden is paranoid about their privacy, Everybody wants to be a rock star. You know, that's uh, that was, that's like one of the reasons why I've paced myself all these years. Is because I'm going for like an epic kind of um, remembrance. I like to chip away at stuff. I'm trying to live to be 100. So if I blow my load, if I had blown my load in my 20s like some of you did. I would have killed myself, like some of you did, either on drugs or suicide because all that money is gone. Um, Somebody I grew up with since elementary school suicided himself over money um he did it with his family in the car and well at least his wife was in the car and he tried to take off her seat belt and wreck into a semi and she got her seat belt on at the last minute and survived And, um, that's the only reason that we know that he even fucking suicided and that it wasn't just an accident. But I feel like even as a kid that I understood the law of average, I think I think that uh, a lot of paths that I've taken probably seem pretty average to the people that are doing what I do, or they seem, they maybe even seem below average because, um, because a lot of them are still new. Like, um, I don't, I'm not, I, my thing is I, I, I try really hard not to fucking put names out there unless I'm really trying to be vindictive and I don't fucking care about anybody that's in the entertainment industry. I mean, I have, I have my friends, they know who they are. And then, and then there's a bunch of fucking uh, associates, but, um, but like there's, there's some people that I see that are doing shit that I did 15 years ago and that's cool. But, but don't look over at me like you're doing something fucking doper than I've done. Because I've done some fucking dope shit. I, I, I never claim to be Kanye West. Or anything. Stan! You know, Kanye West. One of his quotes. He was like... At, uh... He was hanging out with Puffy, Diddy, and somebody called him, and he's like, yo, man, I gotta go. I'm doing something right now. 
and then they said something to him, and he was like, because I always do dope shit, and that was how he ended the phone call, I'm not that, I'm not that driven, I mean, whenever I was a kid, my parents thought, you know, they, they, because I had obviously at some point voiced my, uh, interest in being a model or something. I don't know what, a, how, what they, but they, my mom was going to have me go to modeling and then we went to this thing and I figured out whenever I was a kid that it was a scam. And so I was like, mm, I don't think that's the real way to do it. You know, you shouldn't have to pay $150 fucking um I mean I get it it's like a grooming thing but I think that there's such thing as natural talent and that's who's mostly getting the gig and that was one of those things where I noticed that I was like okay there's there's people that have um natural beauty and then there's me I had I had fading beauty but I mean dude like I just saw a picture of uh, the melty terminator guy whatever his name is he was at comic con this weekend in uh, Silicon Valley and uh, wow the guy has a vagina for a neck So, I don't know. I feel like I'm holding up a little better than him. And that's all we can really ask for, right? Is to try to hold it together. I want to lose more weight, but I also feel like I'll turn into a drapey fucking skin ghost if I do. So... There's that going for me. Um, anyways, where I was going with this whole thing was... There's... There's different ways to do things. And for me, there's different... There's a different fucking value to success now. I mean, I've always... Hey, get over here. Run right in the middle of the road. I will kill you. Now there's a fucking train. Hope you're happy, bro. We get it. You're a locomotion. And actually, now that now I think about it, like, success wasn't really my fucking angle here. My angle was that <sighs> cliche things. Hey. <gasps> cliche things. Like signing up. Go. Signing up for a social network. And then fucking being like. Being paranoid that anybody can use your. Like, dude. How does. How, how do you figure a picture is gonna fucking. You're sitting on my hat? You're sitting right on my head. You're a dickhead. How do you figure a picture that says, I do not agree, or I do not... I do not give permission. I do not express permission. Because it sounds legal. The saddest part, like I said, is the people that I respect seeing that... They posted it and they're, and, and they're, (laughs) 
<laughs> hey, bro. You post your disclaimer on Instagram? What? You gotta post your Instagram disclaimer that says that you do not allow Instagram to use any of your pictures. Oh, that's, 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 that's what everybody... Yeah, that's today? <laughs> Dude, that's every day, bro. Um, they didn't pull your rack. That's all I was texting you. That's yeah, no, I was just walking down the, the alley whenever I saw your text. Sorry. What's up, blue pants? What's up? Why are you always worrying about what I'm wearing? I'm just tripping on your cripping. <laughs> what about what I wear? I mean, I, 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 I'm just one of those people that likes to. We already got enough back in the gate. That looks to, that looks, you know, that matches. Oh, come on. Like black on black. Or, I try to match the good stuff. Well, you had it. Well, those were like, uh, those were exercise pants. Right, Louis? <laughs> You're hitting a sensitive spot because everybody's focused on what she's wearing. Oh, really? <laughs> Your face is so serious. <laughs> I just think they're funny. Yeah. Well, they're. I mean. I, okay. So uh, I, I can tell you that, like, that because they don't. Here's the Pat, thing. Let me show you why I wear these pants. So. No, no, I know they're fucking they're, skinny jeans. They're hella sensitive. They're, they're, they're fucking like soft and they're comfy. fucking simple. So yeah. This is why I'm wearing. Them. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. They're bitching about me wearing my fucking gym clothes. So. Yeah, well, okay, so, so, but, so, so here's the thing, because, uh, up front, they had the same issue, and so what they wanted to do was standardize, and we all had to wear khakis and polos, like, so we all looked like we work at Blockbuster, <laughs> and then, and then, like, whenever I started working here, I showed up in Crocs, and, like, I got these banana shorts, well, it's comfortable, you right? know what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're like, dude, you're, pra- you're practically wearing flip-flops, and I'm like, Okay, I get it. Yeah, like, okay, order, yeah. right? So I started buying shoes specifically for this, but then, <laughs> uh, but then, same with my pants. Like, um, like, well, not me so much, but like, like, at, like the girls up front. Like they would like if they can't wear um, capris, like they can't wear like holes in their jeans. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? And and, and it got to the point where. Everybody was started wearing the leotards, the gym pants, uh-huh. and and it's like some of these pants are not really pants. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and and some girls, don't, you guys don't know. I mean, I'm not saying you don't, yeah, yeah. but I mean, you know, like some of some girls don't know ever, and they wear them every day, and you can look right at their bubble. You know what I'm saying? Because they're because they're for their leotards. Because as I said, like, or, I wear what I want. He said, yeah, I'm gonna wear what I'm comfortable in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I consider myself a fat ass fucking female, so <laughs> you know, I'm gonna wear what I'm gonna fucking like. But no, no, the blue you know? pants have always cracked me up since you started <laughs> because they're like so Don't opposite worry, I got some black ones. of black or green. But yeah. dude, even if you had some bright green pants like that, uh-huh. boom, that's what I would do. No. But I have my because whenever I wear that shirt. Uh, I have these banana shorts. They're, they're black and you know green and yellow, and it looks like you know. And, it, and at first, everybody's like, "Oh, that's cool. Your shirt matches your shorts." And then as I get closer, they're like, "Those are bananas." Well, one you know? day he told me, you know, somebody complained. I was like, "Okay, so I'll just don't come in here." And I don't, you know, I don't see nobody except one that sees me all the time. But somebody still saw. She, she still complained about me. Like, dude, worry about your fucking towels. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you're wearing. Though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that'd be rude, but... Yeah, well... I mean, we're separated. We're drivers. You're in there. I'm sorry. Yeah, but but some of them in there are still in charge of even Louie. You know what I'm saying? So it's... it's, Well, I doubt the one that sees me is in charge of Louie. There's a large trickle-down. There's a large trickle-down. I doubt the one that sees me. Who's the one? Who's the one? Who? I don't know if she's related to you or not. Oh, I don't care if she is. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, no, hey, because hey, because if it's one of my girls, I'll fucking tell them shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Louis knows. I don't care. I don't care about that shit. Because if anything, I'll just tell my end to curb it. <laughs> I'll be like, bro, have you seen her blue pants? <laughs> 
because the girls are just because. Well, well no, it's if we can't wear them, how come she can wear them? It's Gabby, huh? Hey, because it, because Gabby wears some pretty tight pants sometimes. I know she. <laughs> well, hey, just all I'm worrying about today is make sure Benny that you post on Instagram your disclaimer that Instagram does not have permission to use any of your pictures. That's very important. It's very important that you go on a social network where you post everything publicly. To yet and tell them you cannot out. publicly use my material, <laughs> like, dude. And everybody's doing it out. No, everybody. Sit, well, I was just talking about as like since MySpace, yeah, you know, every, like every platform, this has happened. Um, What's up? Okay. Technically, I have the Ford available, but I'm trying to not use it if I don't have to. Right. When I have to, I'm gonna have to. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so when you clean this out, put that on my desk so we can remember to give it to you when we give it, put you back on the floor. Okay, I don't even need it today. All right, Two. right? Oh, it's Sacramento, mean, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, so I put it on the one setting because there's just one of me. Yeah. But uh, what about your personalities? <laughs> well, there's not enough settings on here for. There is. There is it. There is it. <laughs> There isn't one for schizophrenia or psychosomatic. So does that mean we have a lawsuit in fast track? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. They're discriminating. <laughs> oh my god. No, uh, no, but I was curious. Like, it was set at three. Oh, was it? Who the fuck is driving around with three people in their van? Well, I think just in case you never know who's in the van or. I have no idea. But what does it even matter about the amount of people? You're in a fast track. You're well, because if you're in the, because there is a, because like on the bridge, there is that lane where you have oh, to be right. the carpool. All the, way, all the way to the right. That's where that highway patrol got smashed. Oh, okay. Or he smashed himself. Benny, you seen any cool car wrecks yet? No. Oh, shit. I seen a fucking highway patrol fly yes, or the, last week. Really? Yeah, he fucking, he rear-ended somebody on the bridge. Oh, my God. And it was like right next to me, and I, like, I just heard the poop poop. the phone. No, I heard that. Yeah, I took it. I took a picture, but I, all you can see is like his head, and uh, and he's like behind the mirror. The mirror got in my way. Really? Yeah. But dude, uh, it was like foom, and I was like, "What the hell was that?" And I look over, and the car next to me is all cloudy because their airbags went on, oh and the motorcycle and the and the cop are like in midair, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And then he hits, and it was like. It was like one of those cringe moments. Yeah. Like, you know, if it was in a movie, you'd be like, oh, that's a stunt guy. But this wasn't in a movie. <laughs> this was like, oh, shit, that's your bare elbow on the concrete I grinding. I see you in your head fucking pause it off. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, my God. It was so okay. fucking harsh for me. I was like, I was actually nauseous afterward. I, I, I sent a picture to Louie and I go, dude, I just saw the fucking, the craziest shit ever. I just seen a fucking highway patrol wreck himself on a motorcycle. <laughs> And uh, and he's like, whoa, bro. He's like, well, as long as it wasn't you. And I'm like, dude, it was right next to me. The only thing dividing us was those fucking little plastic uh, cigarettes. You know the little the little thingies. I call. Yeah. Dude, I don't know. Well, the thing was, is he was splitting lanes. He was like 15 minutes in front of me, cutting through traffic whenever I was just coming to the toll. Because they're fucking cops, right? They can do whatever. Right, right. And then I get through the toll, and then he's behind me. So he must have seen somebody do something, and he was going to go get him. And then somebody stopped in front of him. He's like, bump. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's all I can figure. He probably kept looking. That's why. Huh? Yeah, he was, or, or he was looking at his phone. <laughs> yeah. But dude, he said, he said, hoof. Yeah. Hoof. Yeah, 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 yeah
these fuckers out running. running. This simple global plan will fuck it up, no way, boy. I can't drop it, nutty. Then what the fuck is this? I kick on back and I sound like a little crass. No, I don't, white boy, tight boy, motherfucking black boy. boy. What the fuck you want, boy? A double dub, a triple box, be bubble bub. These motherfuckers no good out, but hold my fucking nuts. These motherfuckers fuck us down, sound like garbage. Now I don't give a fuck, dog. What's the motherfucking matter? What the fuck they want from me? They don't give a fuck, bitch. Just call me Brookie B. Rip the microphones, but they ain't fucking shit to me. I don't give a fuck. I don't want you on your fucking neck. Make the loopy slug a bag. I don't give a fuck about them. What the fuck is they can think of rap like the Thunder Man? The Thunder Man from the South. Bitches when I'm on the ground. Bitches know my fucking name. Bitches know the fucking time. Look nut. Rip it up. Rip it up. What you want? I don't give a fuck. I'm staking, staking in the national. Candy for fuck around, now do a mess around And you can tell by my, by my bad, shut your mouth